Yo, what is going on guys? So in today's video, we're gonna be taking down the 6.2 champion boss, not once, but twice. First, we're gonna use Hood before his buff at a six star rank three level. And then we're gonna use Hood at a six star rank three level after his buff. And I'll let you guys be the judges. So the reason why I wanted to do this was for one, I've actually never fought the 6.2 champion boss with Hood and Hector's told me like a rank three hood can do it. Like this is like a long time ago and he's, just, he's very good for it, but I've never personally done the fight. So I was interested too, but also because he's getting a buff, thought it would be a really good testing ground. Now there's been a lot of controversy with hoods apparent buff. Some people even call it a nerf. Now I didn't make a video or I didn't speak out on Twitter or anything about this because the, the stance I really took the way I, I looked at it was I'm going to hold my judgment until I play the newly buffed hood and then make my decision. That's it. And I, I said this on a live stream and some people started giving me crap for it. I'm like, dude, like I'm just waiting to play the buffed character before I make any kind of judgment. You know, just bait reading off paper. It's really hard to gauge a champion. And sometimes you can totally gauge wrong. It's happened to other content creators on YouTube like they're like oh this champion is gonna be amazing and they're crap or this champion is gonna be crap and they turn out amazing it happens it's hard to really decipher how good a champion is gonna be just by their abilities on paper alone so uh, like I said I'll let you guys be the judge uh, after watching the comparison and I'll give my own thoughts and opinions uh, yeah I also recorded some gameplay for Civil Warrior Angela and Massacre or Massacre however you would like to say his name so if you guys would like to see similar videos to this hood one but with them with their damage comparisons pre and post buff go ahead and let me know down in the comment section below um, but uh, yeah so jumping into this fight I am running five out of five Mystic Dispersion. I have the exact same masteries on both fights. I literally did them like 10, uh, yeah, like 10 minutes apart from each, actually no, like probably like 20 minutes. I had to get here again, uh, go through the quest. But so yeah, I just didn't update my game uh, today, uh, or I guess yesterday, till like 11 o'clock at night, like 12 hours after the update actually dropped, uh, just because I wasn't done recording uh, gameplay on them before uh, the buff so if you didn't update then you didn't have the the buffed ver versions so yeah I just did the gameplay and then once I got all the gameplay I wanted uh, before the, with the the pre-buff champions all four of them then I just updated my game and then boom all of them were, were buffed and then I jumped back in here and did the, the next fight with hood uh, after his buff like right after so it was like 20 minutes of legacy 20 minutes apart from each other uh, so this this fight is quite simple with hood uh, before his buff is pretty easy pretty standard you know just drop the special two um, to drop your power and yeah with mystic dispersion you get a nice amount back some power steal as well uh, keep triggering invisibility uh, you get more damage while you're invisible so yeah that, that's, that's really it's, it's very simple it's very straightforward it's not really too difficult um in the first couple in the first phase at least it's very easy in the next couple of phases it's a little bit trickier just because you can't just straight up you know like parry because uh, in his next phase he has unblockable light attacks and then in the next phase it's unblockable medium attacks so you kind of have to be a little bit careful there and without the 100 percent guaranteed chance uh, on the invisibility i don't ever chance it with with hood before his buff so uh yeah but his staggers are just very consistent very reliable for worrying about champions buffs and uh yeah i just always drop the special two but uh, even without the special two the uh staggers themselves are are doing a good enough job to uh to control the buffs don't even need the hex on the special two in in this particular fight but I, I just i just keep throwing it because with mystic dispersion i'm getting a decent amount of power back and i don't want to i don't really want to go to special three just because the animation takes a little while i'm just trying to trying to go uh, as fast as i possibly can uh going for some intercepts as well here and there like i said because i can't just parry all the time so if i um uh, if i don't have a special opening that i baited to get my opening and I go for an intercept or try to bait a heavy without taking any block damage or I could try for the miss but again it's it's not guaranteed so I'm not comfortable 
uh, with with risking it essentially. Don't want to risk it. Not it's not worth risking it for for the biscuit in this fight. Uh, but yeah, so far you know we're halfway through the fight. Still have a full yellow bar as you can see. Hood, you know he's, he's doing a good job. We're about 180 hits in. This is a six star rank three champion. No boosts, no suicides. Just a, a very basic mastery build. Nothing nothing crazy. This is just straight up six star rank three hood. He's doing a good job. And then we get into the second phase here. So at this point, his mediums are unblockable. Uh, and we're also gonna start taking a little bit of damage uh, every time we nullify or stagger the champion's buffs. So, and we also got hit a little bit right there, but it's all good. Uh, right here, I get a little bit too much power. I get pushed to the special three. So I'm gonna have to go ahead, drop this bad boy. But special three is pretty cool. He turned into just some demonic beast trips the opponent up uh which is pretty cool but uh, yeah he's he just the champion restores debuffs uh in this phase so the bleed from the special three is not going to do anything anyways uh right there i got hit by a, a low sweep as a as a literal low blow champion uh, as a combo ender wasn't expecting to get hit by that uh but yeah at being a six star rank three our health pool is pretty decent so we can take a, a little bit of damage don't have to worry too much as you can see, I'm dexing his special ones just to practice a little bit while I uh, before I get to the final phase. Um, extremely comfortable with evading his special one. I can do it like if I can evade it with the right spacing, I can evade it 100% of the time. Uh, it's just setting up the the spacing that uh, is not always perfect. Sometimes he just doesn't throw the special when you want him to, and then the spacing isn't quite perfect. But uh, yeah, usually I can get it. I can get it pretty reliably which you guys will see once we uh once we get the champion to the 10 percent and pre and post buff hood fights so we're almost at that uh at that 10 percent threshold then we just need to get three dexes and then we'll, we can kill him uh and i did lose my combo so i'm not sure exactly how many hits we are in at this point but it's safe to say it's over 200 at this point probably 250 260 around that area so we get him down to 10%, now we're just looking for that dex. Uh, right there, I didn't, I don't know, maybe it's because I was invisible, I, I didn't quite get, uh, it maybe threw me off slightly, didn't quite get the initial dex, but I ended up getting it on the last hit, which I don't normally do. Uh, but I still got one either way. Uh, and then, yeah, I got another one right there, and then we just need one more. So I just wanna get the perfect spacing here, and boom, that's the, the money spacing. And there we go. Just gonna charge a little heavy for some pizzazz, and then uh, drop the special three, and this is guaranteed to kill him with all the prowess. So there's Hood taking down the champion. Uh, it was over six minutes, and yeah, it's about it's over 300 hits. Let's see the exact hit count. So 324 hits. That's uh, quite a bit of hits. Uh, over 300. So now immediately let's go and see how hood fares right after his buff same exact team same exact masteries no boosts same exact fight just hood now buffed his brand new abilities he has a lot of new abilities just taking a quick look at them here um i'm definitely not a perfect hood player this was the first fight i did with hood after his buff i have no prior experience except for this fight so uh don't expect me to play absolutely perfectly with the newly buffed hood uh but a couple of uh, things to note here is that his new invisibility is updated so that it uh it starts with a 120 percent chance to miss so they're guaranteed and then it goes down by 20 percent each miss so he's guaranteed to get two missed hits which is great i much prefer that to the old miss where it was just unreliable with the old one i think you you could get some like special attacks to miss but i would much rather have the way his invisibility works now over the old way uh so i accidentally got too much power <laughs> to start with mystic disperse like i said i am running five out of five so i'm gonna drop the special three uh but you guys are gonna see this new hood just does way way more damage so we're off to a pretty good start and as you can see the staggers again the staggers are enough to completely handle the champion uh we go for a heavy there to detonate all of our hexes which deal a nice amount of damage 
on the champion, which is pretty cool. We keep triggering uh, invisibility off the special too. The only thing I don't like about Hood's invisibility is that when you dex, it still counts as a miss. And I think I believe that takes away 20%. If you dex a hit, it shouldn't take away from the miss, um, from your percentage, you know? Uh, so I don't know. I don't know about that one. But yeah, just keep dropping these special twos, stacking up a bunch of those hexes, and then you just detonate them with a heavy attack, and they deal a nice amount of damage. So right there, as you see, we just took two hits into our phase. It's kind of like playing Ghost. If you know how to play Ghost, Hood will feel kind of familiar with the with the invisibility, but it's really cool because his invisibility doesn't run out when you attack, uh, which is very, very interesting. So right there, we detonate all of those uh, hexes, and boom, we deal a bunch of damage to the champion. Uh, get enough power for another special two. Go ahead, drop it. As you can see, we're at a full yellow bar right now. We're only 100 hits in. We've already gotten him down to 25%. Again, accidentally get too much power. Go for my special three. Uh, something to note is that the champion has a Diablo style new persistent charge ability where it's through a quest you have these bullets So this was the only fight that I did in the quest with hood. So I did have my full bullets uh, Just a slight disclaimer there. Like I said, I'm not a hood master uh, Pre or post buff uh, so I'm still still definitely learning him But uh, yeah detonate our hexes hit a clean intercept and boom, this guy is already at 10%. So now just looking to get those dexes. Boom, there's one. Uh, I was hit him with a special one here, try to give him enough power to throw another special. I uh, didn't quite get there. Hit him with another clean intercept. Uh, now I'm looking for another special. Boom, there's two. And then uh, we just need one more. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my special two to give him some power. And yeah, again, the invisibility. I feel like it's kind of it kind of screws up my dex. I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, push him to one more special. There we go. Got the third dex, got the prowess, and boom, champion goes down. A much quicker fight. And uh, let's see the hit count. Before it was 324, now 179. So definitely a lot less hits. Let's get it on there. There we go. So, oh my goodness. Come on. Okay, well, it's being stupid. Uh, 179 hits compared to 300. So a lot less hits from the newly buffed hood. And me, my personal experience just in the fight, I felt a lot, not only was it a lot faster, but I felt a lot safer with the newly buffed hood, which with his invisibility, knowing that I can take missed hits to get openings, kind of like ghost phase. And yeah, the new hood felt so much better in this specific fight. So... Yeah, as far as Hood's uh, nerf or buff goes, here's the 6.2 champion getting slaughtered by both Hoods. I'll let you guys be the judges of which one you think was safer, better, easier. But yeah, that's going to do it. If you guys enjoyed the comparison, drop a thumbs up. Let me know what other newly buffed champion you guys would like to see a comparison for pre to post buff. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoy. Peace out.